Good evening. Welcome back to another video. God bless you all. Today is Thursday, July 28th, 2022 at 8.08 p.m. in the video room. Hello and welcome to the video room, everybody. God bless you. I hope parents had a great day today. Students, I hope you had a good day today in school or daycare or in homeschooling or summer school. Hope you had a great day, period. So, before we get started, tonight is a skincare routine for nighttime, and then I'll do one for the morning when I do have a, a full day off from work, but I just got off work a good hour and a half ago. Tonight's recipe dinner was chili, so I'll tell you how I made the chili. Make sure you grab yourself a delicious snack, something to drink, and also take notes with paper and pen. So, and before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to the Beauty Room for new subscribers and the OG subscribers. God bless you all. Thank you all for watching a small, small YouTuber like myself. And when you do subscribe to my channel, it helps YouTube out and also helps me and support me. God bless you. Thank you all so much. It means the world to me from my heart to yours. And yes, um... The week of the word is grateful, so I hope you are grateful for something. Let me know what you're grateful for in the description box below. So, I'm going to tell you what I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for, for Hamilton, um, for my family on my mom's side. Um, I'm great, grateful for my dad, my other mother, my sister and my nephew, and my dad's side of family, and also my other mother's side of family as well. I'm grateful for life itself, breath each and every day that the Lord Jesus wakes me up and wakes us all up, all of us up in, in the morning. And I pray for you all in the morning time before I get my, after I get myself ready, not after, but before I get myself ready for the day. I do pray for you all and I pray for your loved ones, your children, for yourself. I pray for a lot of people because prayer is what we need. And we need to come together and support one another and just pray for one another also as well and you need to be safe on the road as you're driving or walking you know across the street or something or down the road you know you're walking just getting some exercise in or jogging just be safe be careful just be aware of people and your surroundings are where you're at and yeah just be grateful for who you are and what you are. That is what I'm grateful for. And also, I'm grateful for you all. Because without you all, this channel would not be possible. I would not be doing YouTube if it wasn't for you all, the subscribers. All of you all, God bless you. You mean the world to me. Thank you all so much for supporting me and, let, and having my channel grow with you all. We're, going, we're growing with one another. So yes, yeah, so let's get started into the skincare. Make sure you have your skincare um, materials with you and your scrubber brush with you or a towel, you know, and make sure you have a hot, not hot, but warm um, water in your bowl. I have my water right here in my bowl right here. Also, make sure you have something to pin your hair back, or if you have one of these bow spa headbands, it's super cute. I got this from Five Below like about two or three years ago, so I just got this around that time. So yeah, make sure you grab that. And let's us ladies and guys get our skincare ready for bedtime before we go to bed. This is what I do before I go to bed. I make sure that my after I get out the shower also as well at night i make sure that my skin is definitely cleansed after i get out the shower it takes me at least you know a good you know time good time to get in the shower and i just put my headband on my headband on this is super cute i actually love mint green mint green is my color since last year and this year it's still my color this is just how i wear it this this is a little cute little bow I like this cute so you can get this at five below it's about three dollars and 25 cents and you can also get it at like dollar i don't know about headbands but um you can probably get them at target and try walmart you know if they have these type of material um 
headbands, you know, for your hair. Or you can get any headband that you love that's your favorite color. So, yeah. So, my face is definitely needs a cleanse because I just got off work and I've been in the public all day. So, this is what I do. I, I, this is what I do. This is my nightly routine. What I do um, after I get out of the shower or I can do it before I get into the shower. So, I do either both either way. So, what I do is I take my face towel. I only use a face towel for my face. And then I have a towel like this for my body. You know, I, you know, when I'm in the shower and stuff like that. But, yes. So, I just normally just soak my, my towel. Put it into the water. And I just rinse out just a, like a little bit of it. I just pat like the water onto my face. So my face is wet. Not too wet, you know. And this is how I do it. But if you have your own routine, you know, follow your own routine that you've been doing for quite some time. But definitely take care of your face, your skin. It's definitely important to do. Um, definitely at night or in the morning when you do have time, you know, before you go to work or if you're off, you know, if you have a skincare routine in the morning and definitely make sure you write it down too, like, like the day that you do it, like three, two to three times or four times a day, you know, out of the week or the month, you choose a certain time out of those days to do, to cleanse your face. Or if you have, if you do it like a nightly routine every day of the week, that's good too. And then you give your face like, you know, a, a cleanse, you know, a deep cleanse. <clears throat> and I added some new products too that I do with my night and my day routine. But this is just the night routine. But I, um, I use the clean and clear night skin routine. I just put just like a little dab of this. Oh, sorry. There we go. About like that much on to my face. Just like this. And then I make sure I put it on my nose, eyebrows, my eyelids. Basically, you're going to put it all over your face. And don't put it on, you know, to... Don't put it on your lips because at the end, end of the night, uh, you're eating dinner, brushing your teeth, you know, like that, you know, want to make sure all that's done. And then you put on your, uh, I, I'll show you what I do with my lips like at the end of the, before the end of the video. And I just make sure I use my spinner brush, dip it in the water just a tiny bit. And then I turn it on to a good setting if you have one for low. Put it on low. If you have one for high, put it on high. But for my skin, nightly routine, I just put it on, on low. And I just cleanse my face. I like to get the oils and makeup off my face. You know, when I do um, wear makeup. And you can also, I'll tell you in a minute, and then this also really keeps your skin, you know, looking smooth, soft, you know, it keeps your skin very cleansed. Make sure you get your neck, side of your necks. And this feels really, really good. And you just use a certain, you know, bristle brush for it to cleanse your face. Okay, then you turn it off. And you dip your water back in the brush for just a minute or so. Okay. So like I was saying, with clean and clear... You can definitely get this product at your local Walmart. You get it like at your local Walmart or at Target. Um, I believe Target has it for maybe uh, maybe six, six to maybe nine, ten dollars, between six to ten dollars. Also at your local Walmart, you can get it between 
five and also ten dollars as well at your local walmart that you shop at faithfully you know or every other two or so month that you shop at walmart yes you can definitely get this or they have like the twin pack too where you can get the one for night and morning you know for that then what you do i just take this off have on there for like a good minute or so not too long and then i just make sure all oh, this is off my face And I like to get like the dirt and oil off my face because see, look at that dirt and oil been on my face like all day. Even though I've been inside all day, but still, you know, you get dirt and oil on your face, even if you're inside a building, you know. Ah, it feels so good just to cleanse your face. And I'm not wiping it too hard so that's what you don't want to do for underneath your eyes if you have dark spots but not dark spots but dark circles make sure you use hat very lightly so gently okay like that okay so now next dip this in your towel into your water again let me just go like that. Like that. Put that right there. And now this is called Freeman. You can definitely find this at uh, by Walmart, or you can find this at Five Below for five dollars. Um, these mask experts since 1976. So this one is called Clearing Sweet Tea and Lemon peel off clay mask and this definitely instantly removes impurities plus tones for radiant skin and it's easy to peel off mask and this is in a six fluid ounce you can definitely find this at your five below or online and like in store and also online if they do not have it you can definitely check out walmart so now i just put just a good dab of this onto my face not too much it's about like that a good amount a good handful okay then you just go like this and then you want to just make sure that you smooth it in and then put it onto your forehead Make sure you get it all around your skin, your nose, here. You do not want to put it, um, like, like right here. That's what I don't do. But if you want to do that, you can. But that's just what I just don't do. I just put it on my chin, underneath my chin. So my skin can stay nice and radiant. So then this takes about at least 10. You got to leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure you smooth it out really, really good. And you got to leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. And it will peel off, you know. So definitely make sure you do that. So as this is on to my face, let's talk about the recipe that I cooked tonight for dinner. Make sure you're taking notes for all the skincare products that I talked about so far, like the Clean clean and Clear, that's one. The Freeman Peel Off Mask, the Sweet Tea and Lemon, smells so good. Um, and definitely with the Head Spa, Bow Head, the Bow Spa Headband at your local Five Below with the clearing um clearing uh, peel off mask at your local five below or at walmart and yes those are the three products that i talked about so far but tonight's dinner put that right there so tonight's dinner was chili um that's our second favorite meal our favorite first meal is spaghetti and but our second meal our favorite is 
is chili. So what I do is I take about two and a half, close to almost three pounds of ground beef. That's totally up to you. If you want to do half turkey and half ground beef, you can. That makes it healthy. Or you can do all turkey. You know, if you want to make a really good healthy chili, you can do that. You can also get one green bell pepper and then one white onion or yellow onion is totally up to you i like to sometimes switch it up by using the white onion or the yellow or the yellow onion that's what i do for my chili when i get home and with all my meals then i buy the bushes light red kidney beans in one can if you have a family that likes a lot of beans get two cans if you want and they are a dollar 85 at my local um grocery store that I work at and shop at so that's that and then I buy two cans of diced tomatoes from it's, uh, I believe it's Hunt's or Del Monte the it's the basil and garlic with onion um diced tomatoes that has the diced tomatoes not the no, not the petite but the diced good tomato size about like this maybe they're diced they're about like this good size in a can and it has the garlic, minced garlic already in there with the onions, grilled onions already in there. I use that. I do two cans of that. Yes, but that is what I do for that. Then I season my ground my ground beef with um, Lori's seasoning salt. Just about good tablespoons, you know, into my meat while it's while my pan is hot and I have it on about medium about medium heat for my skillet for my pan, my skillet. I do that and I let that get heated up for about two to five minutes then I add my ground beef I just put it into my pan then I add my two tablespoons or a little bit more of the Lori seasoning salt and then I add uh, like it's a garlic and pe uh, black pepper mixed seasoning I add that in there also as well then I add a little bit a tiny bit of more uh, gar um, garlic salt because that's what me and Hamilton we love garlic around this house so yes that's what I do for that I season it up real good I, I get a a wooden spoon it has like the little three little forks thick you know like a fork but it's a spoon that's what I chop up my meat because that chops your meat up too as well I don't chop it up like I'm making spaghetti I have like little good chunks about like this size chunks and then the small chunk so you can get the full you know meal the full you know with the beans the tomatoes and then I use a big can of tomato sauce it can be it can be an off brand it could be a, like a good brand you know that you like that you that you and your family loves but that's just what for me and Hamilton is just me and him that's what I do for us and then I drain after them the, after your meat is definitely it's no longer pink you want to just drain your meat into your colander make sure you shake that you know because I put like about a good tablespoon or two of vegetable oil into the pan too also as well and then I let that you know heat up with the pan being heated up I do that and then I just put my ground beef in there chunk it up a little bit not too much stir it around a couple of times and I let it go by itself I don't like to stand there and let you know just watch me cook you know I do other things you know and then I come back within 12 10 to 12 minutes I stir it up again like one or two more times and that's it and then I make sure there's no longer pink I stir it up really really good the ground beef I make sure it's no longer pink when it's cooked really good and you can also taste your meat too taste as you cook you know definitely make sure you do that taste as you cook then I taste my meat a little bit and like it's good seasoning it's everything so it's not salty too salty and then I take my meat to the colander let it drain shake it with my colander with the meat inside of it for just a second or so not too long then I return my meat back into my pot then I add my open can of tomato sauce my two cans two cans of diced tomatoes with the garlic and white onion then I add my one can of kidney beans since it's just me and Hamilton by bushes I do that it's the light red kidney beans I do that and then I drain before I put my beans into my pot I make sure that the 
kidney beans, you know, from the juice of the can. I drain that, you know, just hold my finger like that with the top and just I, I make sure all the juice is out of, you know, the can from the beans. And then I pour my beans into the pot. I stir it around for a good minute or so. Then I add the two cans of, of diced tomatoes, my kidney beans, my diced, I mean, my tomato sauce. Stir it up and you can cook. And then you can reduce your heat too to a good um, low. So that way, you know, it's stirred up really good. You know, as you mix everything in, let it go for about another 20 to 30 minutes. And then you stir it again. Let it go for another 30 to 20 minutes. And then your dinner is done within an hour and a half because you have all that time too. If you want to also do, um, make some cornbread, you can make it from scratch. The, um, you can you can definitely make sure you make cornbread as your chili is cooking but how much sorry 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 um i apologize about that it's very inappropriate excuse me but yes um but yes you can also make your cornbread from scratch or you can get the box of jiffy you know follow the directions on the back use one egg and eyeball your milk you can add, you know, sugar to it. That's what I do for my cornbread. Stir it up really good. I use my um, my muffin pan. I spray my muffin pan with, you know, with a cooking spray. And then I put my liners in there. Then I just use a cookie scoop. Dump what uh, amount in there. Not too much of it, about like a halfway. Because if you do a full, you know, your cornbread mix will go over, you know, over the... I'm trying to say over the cupcake liners. I'm trying to say over the over the cupcake liners. So you want to just keep an eyeball as how much mixing that you put on that you put in, inside of the cupcake liners. So you, if you do that, put that uh, I think it's 425. Put that in there for about 20 to 35 minutes. Or however you like your cornbread. I like mine light, but not too brown on top, but still um, edible. Cause I like that's how that's how Hamilton and I like ours, soft but not too you know crispy hard you know on the top of the cornbread mix and we let it cool down for about a minute or two and then eat it with and then open it up a little bit put some butter on there get it with the chili and that's the meal or you can do or if you don't want cornbread you can um, do uh, crackers you know crumble your crackers up put them into your chili. With cheap, um, like with shredded cheese, mild cheese, or sharp cheese, or you can mix it up with Kobe, you know, with the Kobe shredded cheese, Kobe Jack shredded, and put that in there like that. With your cornbread, too, if your family likes spicy cornbread, you can also add like one green, uh, one jalapeno, but make sure you wear gloves and then make sure you rinse it off. And then, if you then you take the, the little white seeds that's in there. Toss those, put those in a trash can, and then you just chop up your jalapenos, you know, and then you put it into your cornbread mix too as well. So if you if you and your family likes, you know, hot. So then it says peel off. I'm gonna peel this off. It has been over 15 minutes. But yeah, but that's just I have time so but it says about to peel this off, but I'm just using my towel. But it's supposed to peel off. But if if your if the peel off mask don't peel off, you definitely use your towel that you only use for your face and do it like that. Like how I'm doing it. Because I'm not scrubbing too hard or wiping too hard. I just want to make sure that this stuff is off my face. So make sure you just get the stuff, you know, the peel off mask from Freeman off to your face so you want to make sure you get off really really well okay so i definitely hope you like this video so far please give it a thumbs up comment like and subscribe to the beauty room and if you already do god bless you and welcome to the beauty room make sure you turn on and hit that notification bell so you will not miss an upload from the beauty room when I do new videos or future videos. Okay. Make sure all that is off your face. 
I want to check your nose too and see how my skin looks already from before oh my skin feels so 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 good and this is what I do too before I do a video I make sure I I get out the shower, cleanse my face, or before I get in the shower, cleanse my face. And then I cleanse it in, when I'm in the shower. So, but this is how I do my night skin routine. Okay, so that is completely off my face. You also want to look into your mirror in your bathroom. Ah, oh, it was so, so good to just, you know, to cleanse your face. It, it really does feel good when you have a hard day at work and you want to cleanse your face. It feels so good. I love doing it. So then another thing, I take this, the, the, the Cetaphil, the Cetaphil, Cetaphil, I'm sorry, Cetaphil, I read today, the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. I use this at night and also in the daytime. And this will also, it's just for normal to oily skin. Because my skin is sometimes oily, like right here on my cheek and my nose and a little bit of my forehead. So I just take this, just a good handful, not too much of it. About like that much. Like that much. And now that's just like a little cute little travel size that I got from target you can get like in their traveling size section you know if you're traveling they have this that product there at um at target in their section you know wherever they have their traveling size section at you can definitely get this too for home also at night and this will you know last for a good i say a good but 30 to 60 days okay so then that's all i do I just take whatever I have excess and I wipe it off the towel. Then I use my spinning brush. Put it on low. And there's no particular way how to use this brush. You can go however which motion way you want in your face. I hope you ladies and guys have your beauty product, beauty products with me before I got started. Your towel and your spinning brush, however, whichever. And we're cleansing our face together, which is a very, very good thing to do day and night. It's always a good thing to do. Definitely make sure you take notes also of the day and time that you cleanse your face. So that way, if you need to go back into it, like let's say a week or two later or something like that, that you just cleanse your face. And you're like, okay, I did it at this time. Okay, well, let me uh, follow that routine you know once or twice you know a night or a day but if you're a type of person that likes to clean your face day and night every day of the week that's totally fine as well that's totally up to each individual and you know person you know but this is just what i do to my face now let this sit on my face for about a good minute or so maybe about one to five minutes then i take it off and go on to the next product but you can also if you can't find this at your local Target, definitely try to find this at Walmart too as well. So, and this um, has no expiration date. So I just got this just about three to four months ago. So I'm almost done. So I'm about to like right here with this. I need to buy another one when I get a chance. But this is the another item that I use for that. And so I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm just going to take it off now. But that's just, I let this sit on my face for a good one to five minutes as I'm watching TV or writing some ideas down for 
my YouTube channel for you all. For you all are the best, best family in the world. A woman can ask for it. And I thank you, each and every one of you, by taking, by spending your time with me is very, very appreciative to me and spending your moments with me. And let's do some, some girl chat, you know, women and guys, of course. And I love that, you know. And then I just take that off. And now that's the, another product that I added to my face for night. Then these three products are from from Elf. You can get all three. Oops. I'm turn it around so you can see. So you can definitely get all three of these at your local Walmart or Target for each, every one of them. I want to say between six to ten dollars. Um, per bottle so this is about between six to ten dollars and this is the hydrating water essence this is with purified water coconut water and algae alga a l g a e hope i'm saying it right i got i think my me and my words you know me and my words are just horrible and the next one is between six to ten dollars also as well this is the holy hydration daily cleanser with hyaluronic acid and ceramides <laughs> and this lasts about six months so i'm about to like right here on this one also as well as you've seen i'm um, i just got started with this one and this also lasts for six months so i just got these products just like two months ago so i'm still testing them out and trying them out but i use this these products for my day and nightly routine as well and then this one is the bounce back daily cleanser with hydrating coconut and this will also last for 12 months. And this was about between six to six to ten dollars also at your local Target and Walmart. So the first product I use from the L product is this right here. It seems like it's very good. I really do like it. It's you know, it, it actually works because you can see the difference into your skin, you know, when you use L products or whatever products that you like to use, you know, you don't have to be the products that I use. But I'm just showing you onto this video what I do for my skin. And it usually takes me at least a half an hour to an hour to really do this. So I just take a good handful of each product. I don't take too much a product. Take about that good amount. And I just put it on my face just like that. Like that and if you have a cute vanity you know um, item you know from Walmart Target or Marshall's you know or TJ Max or Ross that's near you in your area you're so blessed and lucky oh my goodness I wish I had a Ross near my area but I'm blessed to have what I have because I have um, uh, not TJ Max but I do have um, Burlington's and I have five below so and I use my spinner again brush I'll just go about a good minute not too long I get my nose very very good because I do have blackheads on my nose and with these products it really makes it disappear. Make sure I get my neck really really good. You definitely want to make sure you get your neck because that's definitely definitely important as well. Okay that's good right there. And I also leave this on for a good minute to five minutes. But for the video sake, I'm just taking it on and taking it off. But I usually let it go for one to five minutes. Then I leave my face kind of wet. So that way I don't have to keep re wetting my face. And then I take the hot, Holy Hydration Cleanser. Take about a good amount just like that.
And as you see with the Elf products, it gives you some good suds. This feels so good. So I need to mark this down that I cleanse my face really good and give gave my face a really good deep cleanser. So that's what I love to do. And now I just take the product and just wipe it off my hands. And as I'm doing that, I'm just letting it sit for a good minute. Not too long. Okay, so my cleanser brush again. And then I probably told you, um, you could definitely get this cleansing brush at Five Below or Walmart, you know, for like $5 at Five Below. And you can also get it too at your local Walmart or I want to say Target, but check with Walmart and Five Below first. But that's definitely, those two are the, you know, good stores for brands and also you know good affordable for your wallet and for your coins okay so you also want to make sure that you rinse your towel out you know whatever product you have but make sure you rinse it out with the warmish water not if it's hot if you like warm hot water then you know then you know the temperature of it make sure it's a good temperature for you you know for sure that then after that is done you take your last product from elf which is this right here and then you want to just apply it onto your face you know after we've done because it gives you like a really good smooth um facial Make sure your face smooth, refreshed, and then I just leave it on my face. So it's, so it's like a toner, you know, that you get the toner from, like, you know, your local Walmart or Target, you know. Definitely, if you see your toner, because Target has their own brand, it's the Up and Up brand for toners. Or if you see anything you like specifically at Walmart, which is a name brand. You can get that brand or you, um, I don't know, I believe Walmart has their brand of toners and make sure that you have, you know, um, not a sponge, but I'm trying to, like a pad like this, you know, from Target or Walmart, the, the pack, the, the single pack that gives you up to, my, I maybe say a hundred count or 50 count, or you can get double the pack and you can get up to like 300 count of these round cotton pads. And you can just add your toner of e.l.f. or any toner that you like. Just put it into the pad here and just put it on your face and let it sit on your face and let it you have let it be on your face all night if you want. Because then when you wake up in the morning, your face will be refreshed, defined, and clean. So yes, then one more thing I use at night. Now this is from the Shop Miss A. Shop Miss A. And this is the jelly jam lip mask and this is the aoa studio brand this is in honey this was like a like a dollar 55 and now since i have nails on now i have to use my thumb but this is what i put onto my lips mm, yes so that is what I do to my lips and that is it. This is a very good smelling brand too. If you don't like honey, 
don't get this one, but they have, I don't want to say strawberry, peach. Yeah, I can't think of the other ones, but I know they have the Jelly Jam lip mask. Or if you have your own favorite lip mask, you know, from any brand or Walmart brand, which you, whatever you like, definitely try to look that up. And also, I have these as well. I have these are from Shop Miss A. These, this one is the peach one. This is the lip balm. And this is the grape. So, I love these brands. It's like a dollar. And these does last for up to, I want to say, six months to almost a year. So, definitely get these at Shop Miss A. I got that one. I got those two who are a dollar each. Also, I have another Jelly Jam lip mask. Now, this one is the strawberry. This is the one I was talking about. Excuse me. I had chili. I'm sorry. But yeah, this is the AOA Studio um, Strawberry Jelly Jam um, Lip Mask. This is the strawberry. So, it smells so good. Mm, it smells like strawberry. I'm going to mix it too so you can... <laughs> I, I like to mix my lip, my lip mask. And then you put it on your lips. And then you are all ready for bed. As you cleanse your face, you cleanse your body, you smell good, and you are all ready for the next day. If you are off or if you have to go to work, you know, or you have to run errands after you drop the kids off from summer school or, you know, for the babysitter, you know, so, yeah. This is it for the nightly, or my nightly skin routine for th for 2022. God bless you all. I hope you all subscribe to the beauty room. If you did, God bless you and have, and welcome to the beauty room and happy Thursday to you all. God bless you all. Please stay safe, stay encouraged and dream big to the sky. Make sure your dreams and goals are accomplished and anything is, any, anything is possible. And yes, today is today, but tomorrow is a better tomorrow. So definitely keep that in mind as a quote, you know, to keep just to keep yourself positive and to not let yourself down or to be down on yourself because, you know, things don't go my way all the time. Trust and believe on that one. You know, there's times I have to extremely really pray and ask God for guidance, you know, humbleness to stay humble. You know, because some, you know, people do, do, def, do definitely test me. They definitely test me. But in my Christian body and bone, I'm human first. But I'm, I'm a Christian, you know, woman. But I have to definitely stay humble and definitely make sure I know I want to keep my job in order to pay my bills and rent, you know, and other bills, stuff like that, and to get things I want. So people will test you on the things on life so you gotta just keep yourself humbled so keep yourself humbled and to just have patience so be grateful for the things that you have god bless you all i'll see you all in the next video and good night have a blessed and wonderful thursday i'll see you next video bye bye bye